Section 2. Creating Budgets. This presentation will show you how to create a budget in Excel. A budget is a basic planning tool for both home and business. It lists all of your planned expenses and revenues and can help you organize your saving and spending. A budget allows a clear view of money coming in and going out and reveals whether there is any left over after one is subtracted from the other. The purpose of budgeting is to provide a forecast of revenues and expenditures, enable the actual financial operation of the business to be measured against the forecast. The best way for us to understand how budgets work in Excel is to look at an example. So let us create a budget for Cindy's CD shop. Cindy has just purchased a CD shop, and she now needs to plan her expenses and revenues. So she needs to create a budget. Cindy has many questions that she needs to answer. How much will it cost to run her business? How much income can she expect to receive? And how much does she need? Cindy will need to use an Excel spreadsheet to help to create her business's budget. Cindy's expenses are recorded into the budget spreadsheet. This includes rent, stock, salaries, wages, insurance, advertising, utilities, and telephone. Functions and formulas are features of spreadsheets and will save you a lot of time. For example, to add up the total expenses for Cindy's budget, you don't have to type all of the values again. Instead, you can use a pre-written formula, called a function. In this case, the function we are going to use is called the sum function. You can easily calculate the total expenses by using the sum function. The sum function can be found in the editing group on the home tab. Clicking the button for the sum function enters the sum function into the active cell. This adds up all the values in the range of cells directly above the active cell and displays the sum in the active cell. Use this function whenever you have a range of values to add up. It will save you a lot of time. Let us see it in action. We LL click on the C13 cell to make it the active cell. Then we LL click the SUM button on the home tab of the ribbon. Pressing enter will display the SUM function result in the active cell. Also, the formula will appear in the formula bar whenever you click in the active cell. Let us have a closer look at the formula behind the SUM function. Formulas and functions start with an equals sign. The equals sign is followed by the formula or function name, in this case sum. The information in the parentheses is called the argument. The argument for the sum function is the range of cells that you want to add up. In this case, cell C6 to C12. You will notice that the argument contains a cell reference, not the actual value. By using a cell reference instead of the values in those cells, Excel can automatically update results if values change later on. Income Now that Cindy has budgeted for her expenses, she needs to come up with an estimate of her first month of sales. Let's begin by recording her income projections into budget spreadsheet. Cindy estimates that she will be able to sell $15,000 of CDs in her first month. This amount is entered into the spreadsheet as sales income. The sales income in is $15,000 and total expenses is $12,800. The net income will be sales minus total expenses. You can calculate net income in Excel by typing this simple formula into a cell. Let us give it a try. Click on the cell at C15 to make it the active cell. Type in the formula for net income. Remember, Excel formulas always begin with an equal sign. Here's the formula typed into cell C15. Equal C4 minus C13. Note that, once again, we are using cell references in our formula rather than actual values.
Later on, if you forget how you got this result, just remember that the formula is visible in the formula bar near the top of the worksheet whenever you click in cell. For example, when we click on cell C15, we see the formula for net income. After one month of trading, Cindy has her first month of data. She can now enter the data into the budget spreadsheet to compare the figures. In order to compare our actual income and expenses to our budget projections, we have entered the data for the first month into the actual column. Sometimes it's easier and quicker to copy formulas than to create new ones. You will see that we left the actual total expenses cell blank. In this example, you'll see how to copy the formula you used to get the budget total expenses and use it to add up the actual total expenses. First, select cell C13, which contains the sum formula. Then, position the mouse pointer over the lower right corner of the cell until the black cross appears. Next, drag the fill handle over cell D13 which is immediately to the right of C13. After the formula is copied, the Auto Fill Options button appears to give you some formatting options. In this case you wouldn't need to do anything with the button options. The button will disappear when you make an entry in any other cell. Now let us do the same again but with a net income formula for cell D15. Cindy can now compare figures of actual results against her budgeted amounts. That is the end of this presentation on creating a budget in Excel 2007.